Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at area and perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. You can find the perimeter by adding all of the lengths of the shape together. It looks like this. That's for a rectangle. And for a triangle, it looks like this, where you add up all the sides together. It's like the distance you will walk if you walked around the outside of the shape. The area is the amount of space inside the shape. For rectangles, you multiply the length of the base by the height of the rectangle. And for triangles, you multiply the base length times the height, and then divide by 2. The formulas look like this. For a rectangle, that's the base, that's the height, you multiply them together. For a triangle, you have the height, which goes straight up from the bottom to the top, and the base, you multiply them together and then half it. Notice the height of the triangle goes straight from the bottom to the top at right angles. Okay? Now, let's see this in action. What is the area and perimeter of this rectangle? The area is the base times the height, which is 9 times 5, which is 45 centimetres squared. For the perimeter, we have to add up all the lines together. But we don't know what this length is, and we don't know what this length is. But what you notice is the exact same as the opposite sides. So this side over here is also 5, and this side over here is 9. Like that. That's a fact for all rectangles, and you need to remember that. So the perimeter is 9, uh, 5 plus 9 plus 5 plus 9, which is 28 centimetres. And now we have the final answer. Okay. Let's see a triangle now. What is the area and perimeter of this triangle? Where the height is 4 centimetres. For the area, we do a half the base times the height, which is half times 7 times 4. 7 times 4 is 28, and then half it is 14 centimetres. The perimeter is 5 plus 7 plus 8. We add up all the sides. And when we add them up, we get 20 centimetres. Notice the area is in 14 centimetres squared, because we always measure area in centimetres squared, or metres squared. And the perimeter is just in centimetres because it's a distance. Okay? Now, when you're ready, we can try some practice questions. Pause the video now and see if you can find the area and perimeter of these two shapes. Good luck! Pause the video and when you're ready, I will reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video from Advanced Maths, please subscribe for more videos. Share the video with your friends. They want to learn maths as well. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.